I'm back, final round, right? This subject right here, the subject right here needs to be addressed, not yesterday, but today, right? Now, if anybody understood, if anybody saw my video from earlier, right? I went to the store, I didn't take my phone, my phone cord, uh, my phone died on me, I broke my cord, right? So I went to get a phone cord. I go into the Indian store. First of all, when I first went and bought the phone um, earlier, you could sense he had an attitude. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with him? I do not know him. So I come back to the store because I take my phone home and the cord didn't work. So I take my phone back, the cord back to the store. He, he's not in front. He tells his wife, don't give her a refund and no exchange. I said, let me tell you one motherfucking thing, right? Now is not the time for you to have an attitude, not with me. They call me the queen for a reason. I don't know one queen that don't have a large ass bees nest, right? And I'm all for peace. But when we have these type of people in our neighborhood talking to us, being disrespectful, Show it, not even did he show me, even the energy was so negative, my grandbaby felt the energy. And I told her before, I said, baby, I said, when I go in this store, I'm telling you now, I'm going to put you to the side. But if this man doesn't give me my money or my uh, a refund um, exchange for this, there's going to be a problem, right? I said, but it's not, I'm not going to do it, you know, in a violent way. I went in there. And just lo and behold, before I could get to the counter, he told that his wife that. He told her that. You know what I told him? I said, let me tell you one motherfucking thing. You best to play with a rattlesnake than to play with me, okay? I said, all this tension going on between... This tension ain't just about black... Um, about cops, right? This, ten, this tension is also about racism, right? And it's also about... These motherfuckers who come to America, come in our neighborhoods, right? And treat us like we ain't shit. Meanwhile, you see a white person coming in. How are you today, sir? All that type of shit, right? So I'm letting America know today, right? Because I keep telling you it's levels to this. When I walk around in my community, I don't see... Uh, five black stores. Right? All these stores around here, that's why when people keep saying they looting, they're looting, they're tearing up their communities, right? Those aren't our fucking communities. They haven't been a black community for a long ass time. They have shipped all of these foreigners in here and set up shop and given them jobs in our communities. They don't give them a shopping center where they can do something multi, you know, being foreigners of this land. They don't give them a, a shopping center where people can go and universally shop if they want to universally get uh, goods from all over the world. No, they bring them to our motherfucking hoods, right? And then they come up in here and they talk to us as if we ain't shit, right? Meanwhile, we the ones that keep these stores afloat, Right? That go for the Latins, that go for the Arabs, that go for the Indians, and that definitely go for the Asians, right? I, 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 I already predict within a year, none of you will be in our neighborhoods anymore. We're going to make it our business to have them remove you from our neighborhoods. Y'all need to go where white supremacy brought y'all in here from, y'all need to demand that they build y'all a universal shopping center where all of y'all can go in and um, sell your goods outside of the black communities. Black communities belong to black people. They do not belong to the Latins. They do not belong to the Indians. They do not belong to the Asians. They do not belong to the Arabs, okay? And I'm telling you now, right? Because I haven't met one yet that does that I have sensed in them um, 
righteousness, right? I have a sense righteousness in this. The ones I all, all the ones I meet is pure evil. And they all have this mindset about we ain't shit. They just as racist as white supremacy and these got the police, right? And it is time to remove them from up, uproot them from our, our communities, right? Like yesterday, right? And we're not going to have this conversation ever again moving forward. We already know what we got to do uh, moving forward. I'm sorry, but there never has been and there never will be a minority alliance, right? And there definitely has not been a Latin alliance. Only thing Latins do is open up stores in our goddamn communities, talk shit, be disrespectful to us. And then when we ready to put the paws on their ass, here they want to jump up kumbaya shit, right? We ain't having that no more. It's two things we want moving forward, right? One, we want respect, right? And if we don't get the respect, we want to instill fear in these motherfuckers. So when they come into our neighborhoods, being disrespectful, calling the cops on us, having us murdered in broad daylight over um, a fake $10 bill that was real. When we have them doing that, it's time for them to go. And that's just not in Minnesota, that's everywhere. I just don't get how did all of these people invade our country like that and came into our neighborhoods and set up. That was systematically done. So we're going to unsystematically undo it, okay? Your time in our neighborhoods is up. And if you think I'm lying, this is my next point. In Chicago, as we speak, there is a war between the Latins and black people. Okay? Chicago, if not number one, it got to be second, but I'm almost certain Chicago has the largest population of black people in this country, right? The Latins there are outnumbered, okay? The Latins there are outnumbered, right? See, all this time, we've been playing this number game with these motherfuckers, right? They always suit themselves in groups as if they got group power, you know what I mean? Group power that can dominate us. Fuck no, you don't. That, I remember they told that lie when... when, when um. Obama was in the chair. He said that the Latins was the largest population now in America. You a motherfucking lie. And then looking at Chicago, looking at goddamn Texas, looking at Cali, we know that to be a lie, right? See, they can't come from the Mexican border fast enough to stop the slaughter. That's getting ready to go down on the ground in Chicago right now. Trust me, mark my word when I tell thee, right? And when it started, it already started in Chicago, and this shit going to be like wild flowers, okay? So now, what's going to happen when these people come in our neighborhoods with that bullshit, because we already said we don't want you in our neighborhoods, and they think it's a game. But um, I'm telling you, Chicago has already set it off. Motherfuckers going to have to walk around here with an ID and identify themselves. And if you are not an African-American and you are in our motherfucking neighborhood and you are disrespectful and you are a racist and you work for white supremacy and you don't do anything for our communities, you getting the fuck out. You could go the easy way or the hard way. But your days in our communities robbing Stealing and being disrespectful to the black man, woman, and child in our neighborhoods is over. You don't believe me? You better pay attention to what's going on in Chicago. And I ain't even worrying about Chicago because once when it hit all around, it's a wrap. People, you know what the problem was? People didn't understand. White people are liars. They didn't realize how. Look at Houston. Now, Chicago got a large amount of people, right? But when I looked at Houston yesterday, I couldn't see anymore. 
downtown Houston, everywhere you look downtown Houston was filled. I ain't seen no Latin people in the motherfucking crowd, to be honest. I just saw black skin everywhere. The nigger niggas came out. And that's another place where Latin's been fucking with black people, where they use us as a stepping stone to get closer to white supremacy. But I'm telling you now, those days is over with, right? There will be some that will stay behind, but those are the ones that's gonna to have to bear witness or already has and already has been working alongside us. If you haven't been working alongside of us, if you've been out here, like I said, being racist and disrespectful to us and robbing us and talking shit to us and calling the police on us, having us murdered and all that type of shit, um, today is the day to put you on notice, right? That um, game over for you. That being said, I'm out because I got some more things that I need to do. Um, but I wanted to touch bases on that. I'm telling you now, I say in another year, there will be no more Arabs. There will be no more Asians. There will be no more Indians uh, or Latins in our communities dominating our business side of shit. Y'all going to have to go somewhere else and build y'all community <coughs> a minority shopping center, okay? We can really separate this word minority away from foundational black Americans. We are not in a minority in this motherfucking country. We never have been and we never will be. And we do not want to be grouped with Latins, Asians, Indians, or Arabs. We are a special group of people here in the United States and we will be treated accordingly. Right? <coughs> I felt that coming on. I got this fan on me. I'm about to take it off. But yeah, that's what's going to happen here. Um, I'm going to let this go because it's at 12 minutes, but I'll be back um, later on today. Keep your vibrations high. With that being said, I am out.